Now to a developing story we've been following all day. Gunfire that lasted five minutes erupted in the middle of the night in the St. Louis neighborhood near Interstate 70. Five on your side's Ryan Henson is live at police headquarters and Ryan reports that the people who live there say it's time for this violence to stop. Ryan. Yeah, and a lot of those families say they want a stronger police presence to help protect against incidents like we saw last night. A lot of families that live in that area have been there for generations, but they say the violence has been ramping up probably the past decade, decade and a half. But what happened earlier this morning was in a category all on its own. Now, five on your side had crews out there earlier this morning for Tissel. We counted 88 evidence markers on the ground. Neighbors in the area say something just has to give. <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. Then I heard the police come, like somebody emptied a magazine. I was watching TV, and I heard heard it shoot, just shoot. This continued about five minutes. Gunshots were fired on an otherwise calm night near Goodfellow and Interstate 70 around 1 this morning. Two police officers in an unmarked SUV were in the area because of what they call known problems. They noticed an argument between two groups at a BP gas station. The groups opened fire on each other, and then another man on the sidewalk also started shooting at the rolling gun battle. Police say he then opened fire on the unmarked police SUV. Amazingly, after all of this, no one was hit, despite nearly 100 shots being fired. And the 26-year-old man accused of opening fire on officers was arrested. When I moved over here, it was a very quiet neighborhood. That was in 1968. She raised her family here. But in the past 15 years, she's noticed the violence increase. She wants to see a stronger police presence on her street. But we don't hardly see no cops hardly. No, I mean, I'm sorry, no policemen hardly in this area. Basically, because it's a quiet, good area, but it's getting bad. Her neighbor just up the road says this type of behavior is generational. You have to really know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. These young boys can walk out the front door, and there'll be somebody out there with a gun for sale. But they breaking in houses, stealing them out of houses, stealing them out of cars. He says not enough adults are holding young people accountable. So a lot of these families, like I said, have been here for generations. We heard Miss Minnie Jackson's there since the 60s. Well, her and other families are considering leaving their longtime homes in search of safer neighborhoods. I'm Ryan Henson, five on your side.